Tia Maury and Corey Hardrick is divorcing. This took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting this at all. I think I seen it earlier today on Shade Room. So this is new uh, news to me and I, I guess to everyone else as well. But I was looking at some of the blogs from People Magazine and just different uh, websites and seeing what they had to say about the divorce. And from what I've seen, everything seems pretty much like the same. I believe that they are divorcing after 14 years. And Tia says this, she says, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. And I believe she posted that on Instagram. And she said, uh, Maury also said that they filed for a divorce from her husband in Los Angeles on Tuesday. That's today, according to documents obtained by People Magazine. And the filing, which was reported by TMZ, said the actress cited irreconcilable differences as the uh, as the reason for their split while a date of separation was not specified she is requesting joint physical and legal custody of their children of their two children now let me say this because i've seen their i seen them on the black love doc and i was just like wow that's that's kind of you know unfortunate but i think we're becoming numb to divorces today unfortunately uh, some of them kind of catch you by surprise, but for the most part, when people divorce, you're like, oh, another one bites the dust. But I want to kind of zero in on how challenging marriage can be. Marriage can be difficult. I believe marriage is what you make it at the end of the day, because irreconcilable differences, when you talk about that kind of thing, you know, a lot of times stuff come out a little later, but sometimes people do grow apart. Sometimes they, you get older and you evolve as a person and sometimes if you don't keep up with your spouse they can be going in one direction and you can be going into another direction the next thing you know you wake up and you're like I don't even know who you are so I think it's important to keep a pulse on your marriage at all times and hey look I've been through a divorce I get it one thing that I didn't do with my ex-wife was keep a pulse on our marriage how are you doing uh, where you at in life right now, just having these heart to heart conversations. And I think when you don't have those conversations, you end up losing this person in the turn. The, the scary thing about it is it's very subtle because you wake up to this person every day. You see them every day. Y'all share bills together. Y'all have sex together. Y'all have kids together. Everything you're doing together, but beneath the surface, there's more going on that you might not even be paying attention to. And I'm not saying that this is exactly what happened in, in Tia and, and, and Corey's marriage, but a lot of times this happened when people, you know, irreconcilable differences. So my biggest thing is pay attention to uh, to your spouse, pay attention to their growth. You know, are they they growing or uh are they stagnant? You know, are they just kind of the same person that they were 10, 5, 10 years ago and you're growing and this person is still in the same place? That can cause issues in a marriage. Marriage can be challenging, but at the same time, at the same time, it can be rewarding. And when it when it's challenging, it's because you have to be intentional about the marriage every single day. And I know that sounds like a lot of work, but it can be done. It's the small things that count. Like they say, the old, head, the old heads would always say, what you did to get them is what you got to do to keep them. And whether that's buying flowers or roses or buying them their favorite candy bar, it doesn't have to be big things. It could just be small things to say, I'm paying attention to you. I see how you are doing. You know, maybe they like a certain kind of orange juice. I don't know. So you buy this orange juice for them every so often. You always make sure they stocked up. It's just the little small things that count. And when you do those things, it keeps the marriage fresh. It's saying that I remember you, that you're in the forefront of my mind. Because a lot of times there's so many things that pull at your marriage, especially if you're in Hollywood, like this couple, if, you, if you're in Hollywood and you make a bunch of money, there's so much stuff that's vying for your attention. So I only can imagine us everyday people, you know, with our lives and, and work and school or kids uh, with your career. So if you're not prioritizing that, 
that person end up being pulled in other directions. And that's why I think it's important in your marriage that you prioritize that and then the kids, because I've seen that as well, too, where people prioritize the kids. And I'm not saying that, you know, hey, I got toddlers. I got a little baby. You saying not to feed the baby? I'm not saying not feed the baby. All I'm saying is you have to make sure that the marriage is good, because if your marriage is good, then the kids are going to be good. Right. There's people that stay in dead end marriages thinking that we're doing this for the kids, but you're actually doing more hurt to the kids because they see y'all arguing every day and fighting about money or fighting about other things. So that's not helping the kids. That's all they grow up seeing. So a lot of times you got to make sure that you are focused, that we're good. And then we're going to make sure that the kid's good. And the kids are going to remember that as they get older, that they can always say, I saw mommy and daddy hugging and kissing each other. Like they just going to have great memories of you because you prioritize the marriage. So unfortunately, we see these kind of divorces happen, um, especially in Hollywood. I think some people, I think some people were a little surprised by this. I know I was. But at the same time, you want to just make sure that uh, you keep them lifted in prayer. I hope that everything works out for them and that their kids will be uh, remember good memories, you know, and, and not bad ones. So we don't know what's going to come out of this maybe a week or two from now. I don't know. We just I'm uploading this video today so you can see it. But I just wanted to bring the news to you and then also just put a little bit of my life into this. So because I've been through the divorce and starting over again and I've learned my lesson from the first time around. So make sure that you share this video with someone. I, I'm, I hope that uh, this couple continue with their lives and their careers. And maybe they, maybe they just need to take a step back. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you feel that marriage is as hard as we claim it to be? Or do you think marriage is easier because you have someone to come home to at night? Where do you feel like the state of marriages are today? is it even worth getting married anymore right because i find it being discouraging to a lot of people let me know in the comment section below this is sean heineman that is scary to marry wanting you to love fearlessly make sure you hit the subscribe button and share this with a friend take care people